Hi, I'm Derek Fahey. I'm a registered patent attorney and trademark attorney here at the Plus IP firm. And this is gonna be a brief video on continuation patent application. So again, I'm Derek Fahey, registered patent attorney and partner with the Plus IP firm. And I'm excited today to talk about continuation patent applications. So continuation patent applications, I'm gonna kinda of talk about them generally in three different things. We're gonna talk about continuations, we're gonna talk about continuation in parts, we're gonna talk about divisional patent applications. So a continuation patent application is an application that claims the priority date or the filing date of an earlier filed application. So we could do that in several different ways. We can file a continuation, a continuation in part or a divisional that claims the benefit of another non-provisional patent application that was filed previous. Now, why is that important? Well, in the patent world in patent law we operate under what's known as a first to file system the first person to file for the rights on a particular invention will get the rights to the invention if it's patentable it over a somebody else who filed at a later time so it's like a race to the patent office we want to file first and that how's how that's how the entire world operates since 2013. in fact before 2013 the entire world operated under that system except for the us we were first to invent however we changed in 2013 under the american uh, the american invents act and now we are we now we are first to file system like every other country in the, United States, in the entire world. So a continuation application typically many times will happen if we actually prosecute certain claims in a patent application and then actually we can actually file another application and not add any new matter. We don't, we're not adding any content to the specification. We just change the claims and file a continuation application after we prosecute the application for the for the original file non-provisional. Now, for the continuation application, a couple things. One, we cannot add any new matter. We can change the scope of the claims, which is the nucleus of the application. We can't add any new matter. That's very important to note. For the continuation in part, we can actually file the new application, but we can add new matter. So let's say we wanted to add a new embodiment or something else. We can actually file the continuation in part, add the new matter, and that new matter would be giving a new filing date, but all the old matter that was there before would actually have the old filing date. That's called a continuation in part. When you hear continuation in part, it's a continuation and part of the application is new and it's giving a new filing date. A divisional patent application typically happens when we have what's called a restriction requirement. Basically, a divisional patent application, we file a non-provisional application, an examining attorney eventually gets hold of it and says, hey, listen, you have two inventions here, you have to examine one invention or the other. In that case, we can file a divisional application and the second set of claims or the second invention in the application will be examined because it's considered divided. We're dividing one application into two. Same filing date, we now we have two applications. Another type of continuation application or continuation in part application is what's known as a bypass application. A bypass application actually came, claims the benefit of a PCT international application. That's a great way to actually file another application in the United States if you've actually filed an international application. Now, what's kind of cool is if you can use a continuation application if you, you want to actually, uh, if you want to extend the provisional filing deadline. What I have, what we've done actually, and legally speaking, to get a filing date for a non-provisional application, all you need is to pay is a filing fee. You don't have to pay the examination fee, and you don't have to pay the, for the search fee. You, what you can do, instead of actually paying uh, the full non-provisional filing fees, if you have a provisional patent application that expires with, you know, let's say it expires on January 1st, uh, you know, 2023, um, let's say you can actually file a non-provisional application, only pay the filing fee for that application, for that non-provisional, claim the filing date of the provisional, so you don't let it expire, now you have a non-provisional, and then that gives you at least you know, a two to six months to file the continuation and part application that claims the benefit to the provisional. So you file the provisional, 
You don't have time to file the non-provisional. What you can do is you can file the, excuse me, you don't have time to file the, the proper non-provisional before the time to file the non-provisional expires to claim the benefit of the provisional. So you file the non-provisional, then you pay the filing, you pay the filing fee, you get the filing date, you don't pay the examination or search fee, and then you can file a continuation in part to claim the benefit of the, the non-provisional and actually the provisional. Long story short, continuations are really important and can really help you meet the deadlines that you want to that you want to use. We use them a lot. We also use the bypass application to extend patent rights after we've gotten a patent if we file the PCT application. Very helpful. They're actually really, really critical and you have to do them right or for order them for in order for them to work properly. So if you have any questions about the fun world of continuation applications, whether it's a continuation, continuation in part, a bypass application, or a divisional application, please let us know. My name is Derek Fahey. I'm a registered patent attorney with the Plus IP firm. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I got tongue tied sometimes, but hey, this is a fun topic for me. Uh, happy to help. Find us on our website, www.plusfirm.com, or you can find me on Instagram, Derek Fahey, P-A, D-E-R-E-K-F-A-H-E-Y-P-A, or I'm also on TikTok at the same thing, at Derek Fahey, P-A, and also you can find me on my YouTube channel. Just Google Derek Fahey, Esquire, E-S-Q. Happy to help. Any questions, just give us a call, shoot me a DM, and I'm looking forward to working with you and helping you with your patent application.